Hello, my dear friends. I'm late today. I don't know what time it is, but it's dark. It is plum dark. I, I did give y'all a lot over at the YouTube community page. So go check out a lot of that. A lot of that, most of it tonight is, or today, is just uh, scripture, various scriptures. There is there is some pictures, but most of it is scriptures tonight. But there's a combination of both. And I'm not doing any shorts today. After this video, I am going to bed. It is still, but well, this is silly, but I started to say, or I am saying, it is still cold here. And it is going to be cold here through hmm, April, May of next year. <laughs> but with the sun setting, uh, it warms the house up about this time of the evening. The house is warm without the heater. So the heater is off. The house is warm. I've got short sleeve shirt. I've had this shirt on all day. But I, I wore my heavy, thick robe that kept me warm until about 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. Then I took it off. I don't even know where I put it, but I, oh, I, I remember where I put it because it's new and it doesn't really have a home yet, but I, I remember where I put it now. But anyway, it's it's warm enough in here. I don't need a robe or a coat or anything right now. I will before the night's over. Uh, right now I'm all right. So let me, let me share with you more from Zachariah and y'all. As I read here, listen for the, the prophecy. Zechariah, I, I can't remember now. Zechariah prophesied more about Jesus in the Old Testament than anybody else except Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied a little bit more about Jesus in the Old Testament than uh, Zechariah did, but Zechariah did a lot of prophecy about Jesus too, plus other prophecy, and it's good. I want y'all to have your heart ears, your heart's ears open to pick up the prophecy, various prophecies, not just about Jesus, but various other prophecies also, because it's exciting, y'all, and you know, we are living in the end days. We need to be closer to God right now, and we need to be sharing Jesus more right now than ever in our lives because time is screeching to a halt. I mean screeching to a halt. we we got to be ready. we got to get our friends and family ready. All right. Chapter 11 of the book of Zechariah. We're reading 11 and 12 tonight. Open thy doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour thy cedars. Howl, fir tree, for the cedar is fallen, because the mighty are spoiled. Howl, O ye oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled. A voice of the of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of Jordan is spoiled. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors <clears throat> slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, and I fed the flock. 
Three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you. That that dieth, let it die. And that that is to be cut off, let it be cut off. And let the rest eat every one the flesh of another. And I took my staff, even beauty, and cut it asunder, that I might break my covenant, which I had made with all the people. And it was broken in that day, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. And I said unto them, If ye think good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver, and the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, a goodly price that I was prized at them, at of them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and cast them into the potter, cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Then I cut asunder my another staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land which shall not visit those that be cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye his arm shall be clean, dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Chapter 12. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel saith the Lord, which stretcheth forth the heavens, and layeth the foundation of the earth, and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome, burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength and the Lord of hosts their God. In that day, Will I make the governors of Judah like like a hearth of fire, a hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf, and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me when they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, 
and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadridman in the valley of Megiddo, and the land shall mourn every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart, the family of Shemaiah apart, and their wives apart, and the families that remain, every family apart, <clears throat> and their wives apart. All right, that was 11 and 12, y'all. Tomorrow we will finish Zechariah with chapters 13 and 14. So there you go. Bam, my friends. I uh, made an appointment today with the surgeon. I never heard of this before back in Texas, but up here, a surgeon, before he does surgery, First, you got to go in and have a little chat with the surgeon. It's called a consultation. So I've got my consultation with the surgeon next week, toward the end of next week. And he won't set a date for the surgery until after that consultation. I, I pretty much know what he's going to say, you know, that surgery, like with any other surgery, there could be dangers and risk involved. You could even die. But do you want to take that risk or not? And I always tell them, yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go for it. But I got to go talk to him before he'll do the surgery. So that's next week, next Thursday. Don't know when the surgery will be. And today, all I did not do my chili. I had fully intended on it, the meat, $121 worth of meat's laying in my fridge, and I got to do it tomorrow. I can't wait another day. I don't have a freezer to put it in. My freezer is full, so I got to do it tomorrow. But my back has screamed at me all day. It is still screaming at me. It hurts bad, and it just laughs at the pain medication. So I hope it'll calm down tonight because I've got to get that chili made tomorrow. i got to. I don't have a choice. I'm not going to throw $121 worth of meat out. I guess it probably lasts in the fridge more than one day, but I don't want to risk it. So that's that, y'all. I was going to tell you something else, too. I forgot what. I don't know. No no shorts today. I did the long video right here, and it's not real long. And I did quite a bit of posting over at my community page. Y'all go check out my community page. There's a lot of scripture, and there's some pictures, some memes in there, too. I got some more memes to do. Maybe I'll throw four or five more up there, but you got some up there and you got a lot of scripture. And it's all good stuff. One of y'all made a comment about me praying for y'all, and I do pray for all of you every day. And I appreciate y'all's prayer too. And if you got a special prayer request, put it in a comment below. I don't mind praying for special prayer requests. And if you put it down there, I will pray for it. Now, that's a promise. Everybody at my channel gets prayed for every day. But if you got a special prayer request, put it on there too. And if it's too private to put there, send me an email. Hanging out with Stan at yahoo.com. All right. It's in my my 
what do you call it, uh, my About Me page here at YouTube, whatever it's called, you know, underneath my banner, click on that picture underneath my banner at my YouTube page, and it'll show you what my email address is. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to bed. I don't know why. I don't have a clue what time it is, but I'm going to bed soon. I'm tired. My back is screaming, and my butt and my legs and my back is all tired of sitting. I got to lay a while. I, I remembered another story, but I won't give it to you now. It, it's about last night. I slept in my bed, my real bed last night, not my couch, but not my recliner, but my real bed till about 3 a.m. I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> well, I said I wasn't going to tell you that story, and I already told you most of it. Since I got this <clears throat> congestive heart failure, I, my legs are so swollen, I can't swing them up to get into bed. And that bed sits way high off the ground. It's a tall, high bed off the ground. The frame is not high off the ground. Just the thickness of the mattress and the thickness of the box spring makes the overall height of the bed tall. And it, it's higher than my butt. And I, I need to sit my butt on the edge of the bed and then swing my legs around, but I can't do it because it's higher than my butt. And I'm I'm not a short person. <laughs> Somebody told me I need to build some stools to get up in it. But anyway, by the time I got up in bed, I, I had done some exercise, y'all. I got in bed. I was wore out by the time I got there, though. And, and then I was hot, and I, I went to bed. I slept in the bed last night because it is a whole lot warmer than sleeping on the couch over here, and it is cold here. I've got a thick, I, I'm talking about thick duvet, or duvet, or however you say that word, that French word on top of my bed, and it is insulated, and it keeps me toasty warm. It doesn't matter what the temperature is outside, minus 28, minus 30 degrees outside, that duvet keeps me warm in the bed. And so that's why I went to the bed last night, was to get warm. Uh, but 3 o'clock, I woke up sweating. It was hot. And it was hot when I went to bed. Once I did all the exercise to get in bed, it, it was hot then, but I thought with me laying still after I got in bed that I'd cool off, and I never did, but I did fall asleep, but at three o'clock in the morning, I woke up sweating, so I got up out of bed and came in here and finished sleeping in the living room, and I slept better then than I did in the bed. Well, that bed is comfortable. I just have such a hard time getting in it right now, and I've got to wait till much colder weather before I use that duvet that is covering it. But I was cold when I initially went to bed last night, and I thought it felt good, and it did for a minute or two, and then it got hot. That's that, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow unless we get raptured out of here, and that rapture could happen at any, any time. Y'all need to be ready now, because once it starts, I, there ain't going to be time to do anything. It's going to happen and be finished before you know it. So you need to be ready now before believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Jesus did all the works for you to spend all eternity in heaven with him. All you got to do is believe in what Jesus did. Put all your faith and trust in Jesus and his finished works. God bless you, friend.